<clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so this is the core structure as well as details. So we will be starting the cloud basics as well as data engineering skills. Once after we completed the data engineering concept, so we will be deep dive into the GCP services. So we will be seeing all the services related to the GCP you can see here. So these are the services that we are going to cover. Uh, for example, uh, uh, in compute engines, we are going to cover compute engine, app engine, container engine, container registry and cloud functions. In IAM also, we are covering almost all the things. And uh, big data, we are covering all the things. One minute, sir. Okay. So compute, we are covering. IAM, we are covering. Uh, big data services, we are covering. Uh, storage and database services, we are covering. So a few concepts related to the networking. But in this course, we are not covering the machine learning, sir. So this course is for, I told you, right, this course is for who want to plan, uh, uh, for example, sir, I am from an non-IT background. I want to, uh, you know, come to the, uh, that I want to become a data engineer or I want to become a GCP admin or I want to become a uh, DevOps engineer or I want to become a cloud developer in the GCP environment because nowadays most of the companies are looking towards the cloud platforms. So Google Cloud is one of the best services where, uh, uh, most of the companies are uh, preferring the Google Cloud platforms only because uh, it has a plenty of the benefits and all. So, any disturbance, sir? Anyone have any questions? Okay. So, mute yourself, sir, first. So, these are the services that we are going to cover. So, this is nothing but uh, what we are going to cover is like theoretical part we are covering plus labs, sir. This is not a theoretical class. This is a class for practical things as well. What I will tell you, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, I will be creating, I will be telling you how to create a free tire account from the GCP. So GCP free tire account, I will tell you how we can create. So that from day after tomorrow onwards, whatever the service that we are learning here in the GCP, we will be practically learning and experimenting in the GCP platform. So I will show you how the Google Cloud platform looks like. Okay. So most of the people who does not know what is a Google Cloud Platform, let me tell you. Sir, Google Cloud Platform is a leading cloud provider who, which provides a cloud computing services. So we will be learning what are those cloud computing services that the Google is offering. So it is like a AWS, Azure, uh, uh, like that. So Google Cloud Pla Platform is a, one of the leading cloud providers. Sir. It also provides the cloud computing services such as Compute Engine, storage and databases, networking and big data, and also machine learning, but we are not covering the machine learning topics here. So why it is, uh, what is the catch for here, uh, for as a data engineer, as a DevOps engineer, if I want to become, sir, what is the catch for me? The only thing, uh, if you are a developer or if you are from a non-IT background, I will tell you how you can uh, gain your developing skills after the testing and testing skills, as well as deploying the applications. So all those things that we are going to cover in our GCP. So it enables the developers to develop or test and deploy the applications under Google highly scalable and reliable infrastructure. Sir, when I say highly scalable and reliable in infrastructure, this is what the most of the companies looking towards because uh, scalability as well as reliability in terms of the uh, in uh, infrastructure that is most of the companies are lacking. That is where uh, Google Cloud is um, providing the leading computing services. So you can think of like a GCP as a cloud provider like AWS as well as Azure, okay? So this is what a small introduction to the GCP. We will be learning uh, about all the GCP in further our topics. So in, in our courses, we are also covering the few, to, uh, few projects, sir, two to uh, three to four projects. One is related to the building a data warehouse in BigQuery and building a data lake using the data proc and uh, proce uh, processing the batch data as well as processing the streaming data with PubSub and Dataflow. So almost all the things that we are covering in our uh, projects as well, for example, you know, uh, once attaining all the theoretical as well as practical things, we will be looking 
uh, at the end to end projects as well we will be creating the projects in the gcp only so that you will get a you will gain a project knowledge as well as project experience in uh, these projects sir uh, these are the real time projects that we are going to cover so if you can see here uh, so we will be starting our entire course from the cloud basics and after that data engineering concepts all the gcp services sir i will also tell you the sql development skills how you can attain the sql development skills uh, in this one we are also covering the developer tools such as git as well as version uh, version control systems such as git as well as vs code so hands and labs sir every service whatever the service that we are going to cover in our course all the services we are uh, doing it uh, in the gcp that means we are experimenting everything that means it is not a theoretical class sir it is a practical class which means uh, who is uh, sir uh, someone is from it background or someone is from testing background sir i do not know uh, about gcp but how i can gain the skills and all so you need not to worry about it sir there is a good demand outside most of the companies are uh, most of the companies require a uh, trained professional sir uh, in the gcp so that is what our agenda is like uh, training you training you people in the gcp platforms either it, it can be anything sir a data engineer as well as cloud developer anyone so you will be gaining all the knowledge here not only the theoretical but also practical so once after hanson labs is completed end to end the real time projects so if you need any job, resume assistance such as the preparation of a resume i will be sharing you the resume tips as well as questions related to the gcp mostly asked the questions in the gcp so that's where our uh, entire course will be completed okay so who can go for this course who can learn this course this this course is for the three target audience sir one is uh, sir uh, someone is from an it background if they want to become a cloud uh, engineer either he, he can be anything cloud engineer means cloud admin or cloud developer cloud data engineer or cloud devops engineer anyone so if you want to see yourself as a these uh, any of these roles you can uh, uh, you know attend this uh, this course sir because i am going to tell you from the very scratch onwards because uh, from the zero zero onwards i will start uh, that means what is data onwards i will start uh, how to pro process the data how to store the data all those things we will be covering in each and every topic so that is one thing uh, one more thing is like one more uh, target audience is like sir i am from a mainframe developer i am from a testing environment i am from a different different environment i want to become a data engineer or a devops engineer uh, is this course suitable for me if you ask me that question this course is for those candidates also because you are already in a, a it field where you have few skills related to the data so that will be really helpful uh, so uh, i'll i uh, this course is for those candidates as well one more person sir i am doing a certification i am already a data engineer or i am already a developer i am want to go for a certification so that's uh, this course is for those guys as well okay any other question sir if you guys have any questions related to the topics and all you can uh, ask me yeah yes sir uh, i have a question this is mahesh hello yeah yeah you can ask me yes uh, sir uh, what are the prerequisites uh, for yeah, learning prerequisites for the course is like uh, if you know little bit of sql that is a prerequisite sir so sql is must in a data field where we want to in a gcp we will be dealing with the uh, sql only so a little bit of sql if you know the sql that is must or if you also know sir i am i don't know i am from a non it background i don't know sql at all so you need not to worry about it i will give you a few list of videos where you can practice four to five hours is enough so maybe you can practice on saturday sunday so that you will be uh, you know you will be having a, a prior knowledge related to prior knowledge that is the sql is the prior knowledge required for this course so if you don't know also that is fine sir i will give you a list of videos where you can practice sql and you can gain intermediate knowledge in sql yes okay and sir one more question so actually i have nine years of gap so okay once completed this course so can i uh, get the job because I yes have... yes yes once after the course you are from a, uh, you are having a nine years of experience in which background 
no, oh, I have only four years of uh, experience as a MIS executive. Like okay, Excel. okay. So previously, uh, I didn't do anything. I have only four years of experience. So don't worry, sir. I have my people. I have my students who have gained much knowledge uh, really, uh, once after they joined the course and who have already got um, the salary packages. For example, the, he was working as a pharmacy. Uh, uh, I don't know something related to pharmacy, and uh, he was his package. I don't know whether we call it as package or we call it as. Uh, uh, daily income or something he was earning like 2.2 or something okay so he has now getting more than 9 lpa more than 9.2 9.3 lpa so 2 to 2 to 9 that means 7 lakhs plus lpa that he is getting and he was joined with two years of experience only okay he put only two years of experience so who those who have experience in four years, five years, they can easily get, I'm telling you, sir, if you have a, if your current package is like five LPA, six LPA, they can easily get the 14, 13 plus LPA, I can, I can assure that. The only thing, if you are tracking two to three interviews, I am sure that your package is nearly 18 plus LPA. Okay. I have my student who has received four offer letters. His package was 4.5. Now his package was 18.25 because he has uh, received now uh, the first offer was like nine plus and second offer was 12 plus third offer was uh, 14 plus. Now he's like 18.25 in at a top MNC, I can say. So that's how the students, uh, if you are tracking more interviews, tracking more interviews means attending the course every day, live sessions, one thing. And one more thing, sir, you have to put your efforts. Okay, live sessions is one thing. And one more thing, one hour, two, two hours, at least two hours of practice on each service. Okay, so two hours of practice is must, sir. Why I am saying one hour is here. Sir, if I am from an already IT background, one hour is fine for them. One hour of practice is okay. Okay, if you are from a different background, then you have to practice two hours daily. So if you are ready to put the three hours daily, then this is your this is the course for you. And I am sure that you will get a good package after this. If your package is four, I am sure that you will get at least 10 plus. At least, I am telling you. But if you crack one more interview, your package is nearly 13, 14. I would say how my students, I will call my students one day. They will only tell you. So that's how it is. You not worry about that. Someone is asking in the uh, message. Uh, so let me read that. As you mentioned that we are going to cover four end-to-end -end projects by putting them on resume. How many years of experience can we cover? Yes, sir. You can cover max to max of 4.5 years of experience. That is for sure. Because I will be covering the basic things, first thing. And I will, I will be covering the intermediate concepts and big data tools also I am covering, sir. Okay, big data tools. So who is having a three plus years of experience only? They only know much concepts related to the big data. Either if you have a less than three years of experience, you may be knowing some uh, intermediate or pro level of SQL development. But uh, I will be teaching you PySpark as well as data, big data tools, Cloud Composer, Airflow, all those big data tools you will be learning. Nothing but I will tell you a small concept, sir. If you are attentive, if you are learning the big data, big data tools on the GCP, that means you already know Azure as well as AWS. Only the names are different. You already know the big data tools. That is one thing. And one more thing, in big data tools, when I am covering the data proc, think about a data proc. That means data proc or the on-premises tools were Spark as well as Hadoop jobs. I will also tell you underlying architecture of the data proc. That means I will tell you the uh, how the Spark and Hadoop was introduced. I will tell you the architecture of it so that you will gain some knowledge related to the on-premises. Okay. When you know the on-premises, that is where you will uh, uh, think about it. Okay. Okay. This is the reason uh, cloud was introduced. Okay. This is, these many problems people are facing. That is where cloud providers are very much uh, uh, important nowadays. So you can put max to max 4.5 years. 
okay if you are uh, having a 8 years of experience sir i am having a 8 years of experience 9 years 12 years sir i have my student he is not student he is actually more older than me uh, so his experience was 18 years experience he was like a almost uh, project manager so he also attended my classes he is his uh, uh, presence was there because of uh, he want to you know upgrade himself that was upskilling for self but he uh, one of the one of the student of mine he is having a 12 years of experience he was in the class and he put uh, actually he does he does have only a 10 years but uh, he was uh, uh, mentioning 12 years in everywhere but the thing is like i told him only one thing don't put all the experience in the gcp you only put four years other uh, other eight years you put everything whatever you have worked so far so the thing is like if you have eight years put four years for whatever the thing that you have worked on but last four years recent four years you have to put these end to end projects experience only okay that is where it will be really helpful for you okay so this is what sir so this is how you have to do for how many months google provide free tire services so if Google is now also, it is providing the free tire uh, services. It's been from the last three to four years. I'm not sure how many years it will uh, still provide, but uh, for this next, for this entire year, entire year, entire year, for sure it is a free tire only, yeah. $300 will be provided by the Google. We, that is max to max and if even four people are working on the, that GCP account also, you may not be, utilizing the entire $300. That is maximum available, okay? So that is fine, sir. So salaries, there is a demand, sir. That's the reason uh, high salaries will be provided. And for whom this course is, I told you, anyone who is coming from an IT background, if they are ready to put three hours every day, sir, if you, uh, I am from IT background, if you are ready to put two hours every day, for sure, I'm telling you, sir, your packages will reach you will get a dream job in a dream company. Okay, you may be hiring Sir Accenture, Infosys, Sir, those are non-IT people. They may be hearing Accenture has got some, this one, Infosys is a big company, Wipro is a big company, TCS is a big company. I'm telling you, there are people who have got from jobs in these top MNCs with a very good pay. They are, all, they are also from an non-IT background. Okay, so need not to worry about anything. If you are ready to put three hours or two hours every day, for sure you will get a job in a dream company, for sure. Okay, the only thing you have to, you have to be ready to put your efforts. I'm not gonna tell you all the topics are easy. There are a uh, few topics are easy, few topics are little hard, few topics are okay, medium. So you have to, Put to your efforts learning those hard topics. You have to give it one more one more hour extra. If you still are able to understand, you have to ask me in the class. So that is how it would be, sir. My classes are very interactive. If you if I am covering one topic, if you get any doubt, you can ask me in the middle. That is okay. That is your thing. Okay. You have to get all the topics. You have to learn all the topics from me and you have to ask each doubt if you have any doubt. Sir, if you are already working in a data engineering environment or a cloud development environment, if you get any challenges, uh, challenges in your company, you can even ask me. I will, be, I will tell you how you can implement one kind of a uh, mechanism or a technology service, how you can use it. Okay. So any other questions, sir, we have? So you can see here, sir, my classes are GCP introduction. No? I will be starting from the cloud computing. So difference between the on-premises and cloud, cloud, cloud models. So why I want you to, I want you to know what is on-premises, how are the, how is the process of work earlier, how now the people are working. So you have to uh, know uh, how like 10 years before or 15 years before how the software engineers are working now how the software engineers are working so two things you want to know and once you know the differences between then only you will encourage the or encourage uh, working in this one you will think that okay okay this is how the cloud models this is how the cloud providers come into the picture so i will be telling you all the things sir you need not to worry about it okay be attentive be dynamic in the classes so I will be starting from the software development lifecycle. 
and uh, once we complete this cloud basics cloud basics nothing but so cloud basics some of the basic topics related to the basic concepts related to the development and service model okay if you guys have any questions you can ask me now sir please so hope you guys seen the advertisement how it was sir you guys came here because of the certification because the name of the course name was wrongly mentioned there it is the course is a google cloud platform so it is for everyone the course name they have mentioned it as a data engineer only certified data engineer but the course is for the everyone sir who is for google cloud platform so who want to go who want to become a gcp admin or cloud developer or data engineer or a devops engineer all the topics related to all of these services we will be covering in our courses okay any other questions if you if anyone new joined or anyone having any questions any doubts you can ask me now this is a very good time so you can speak up and uh, i will be able to help you to uh, provide you the as much as knowledge that you wanted to know okay yeah so first session is an interactive session sir you can if you have any questions you can ask me maybe from tomorrow onwards we will be starting from the introduction to the cloud computing yeah do you guys have any questions for me yes sir hello yeah yeah yes sir i am srinal okay. is there any programming knowledge required for this google cloud sir platform? for programming related to the python and sql i will be teaching here sir sql concepts for sql concepts i will be giving you a list of videos four to five hours list of video where you have to watch that video on the weekend so that you will be aligned with the sql development that is for sure sir python you need not to worry about much things for python i will tell you uh, how what how much amount of knowledge related to the python is required because as a data engineer you don't require much knowledge related to the python we only cover the basics in this because i am a, as a data engineer i am not a native developer i am not a native python developer right i am not a java developer so that much amount of knowledge is not required here basic knowledge related to the python is very much needed those concepts i will cover you need not to worry about anything okay because when we as a data engineer we supposed to create a data pipelines right so that's where we will be focusing on uh, uh, sql as well as python so i will tell you how you can uh, use python how what are the concepts related to the python is required that time i will teach you sir need not to worry about it the only thing you have to is like whatever the topics that i am covering you should be perfect in those topic whatever the for example today i am teaching you should go and spend some time on that topic and learn as much of the knowledge required to that so that's it yeah anyone have any other question sir sir you are covering uh, uh, as a developer and data engineer concept and developer concepts also yes okay sir thank you yeah we will be covering sir yes here you can see here sir so this is what uh, our entire thing development skills also i will be teaching yeah any other questions sir anyone have any other questions if you guys have any other questions you can ask me now this is a very good time the course name is google cloud platform sir this course is for four uh, audience i told you right so those four audience and this course duration can be 40 plus hours sir 40 plus hours so we will be covering the four end to end projects as well in this one okay how we will be covering on all those things we have here sir so this is a very practical knowledge you will be attaining here sir for example scenario based questions mostly whenever we are working whenever we are going for an interview you no know, these type of a questions they will ask scenario based questions likewise we will be doing our projects as well each scenario one scenario two how a uh, operational business manager came into the picture and how he asked a questions so in the real world how you have to tackle those uh, questions now that kind of a uh, things are we are going to cover in our sessions so building or developing a data warehouse as well as user and the man user and uh, a project management 
and building a data lake in using the data proc and one more is cloud composer uh, cloud composer batch data processing as well as stream data processing all of these things we are covering in our courses thank you any other questions So uh, I will be telling you the basic concepts related to what is data, sir. So this is what we are calling a data. So this is a classification of data. What is the difference between the relational and non-relational? You have to know what is what are the databases because in our courses, this is not only SQL databases, sir. It is also no SQL databases also. We will be learning few concepts related to it. So that is the reason we should know relational and SQL and no SQL databases features Sir, scalability is one thing that we everyone is looking at as we are uh, working in a cloud environment, right? Scalability, what is the scalability? And can you help us with the interview preparation, like sir, taking mock interviews? Sir, uh, resume preparation, I will be helping you uh, with the resume preparation, how you can uh, prepare your resume. Once the resume is prepared, you can share it with me. So uh, until that, I will be helping you, sir. A few questions related to the GCP. Okay, mostly ask the questions. What are these questions related to that one? I will try to help you. But uh, interview preparation, taking a mock interview is a time taking process. But uh, there we can have a one session where I will tell you how you can answer a question. Okay, uh, what is the way of asking? Uh, what is the way of answering a question very properly? Because interviews are not easy. The only thing you have to be sure is like you should have a proper little communication skills with the good knowledge will really help oh. you to reach a job. Yeah. Tendro, Tendro. Hello. Ah, oh, they would they. Please mute yourself, sir. Hi, sir. This is Ganesh. Okay. Hi, Ganesh. Yeah, tell sir, me. Hi, sir. Sir, actually, I have one dot. Actually, I'm working as a network engineer, a CCNA domain. Okay. Great, great. Okay. Is it is any helpful for this course, sir? Like actually, if course? so if you want to become any of the cloud developer or a data engineer, is there any, what is your current package, uh, Mr. Ganesh? Six lakhs, sir. Six lakhs, sir. You want to become a data engineer or a DevOps engineer? Sir, actually, I don't aware of a de uh, developing engineer, sir. So data engineer, uh, yes, sir. Data engineer, right? Yeah. So this is most of the people are looking towards data engineer because there is a good demand. I'm telling you, there is a good demand. Now, why data engineer very uh, popular? No, I will tell you a small thing. Yeah. SQL yeah. developers are removed. Data okay. scientists, are, data scientists are removed. BI engineers, all the work. Data engineering is something. It is a foundation. Foundation, because okay. from there the data sources to the end data scientist all the topics related to the uh, data engineering were easily done by the data engineer that is the reason data engineer having a full demand outside because not only that if you have a more experience in the data engineer people are calling him as a big data engineer okay, okay. so okay. there is a big demand outside you can see people who are getting 30 lpa 40 lpa 50 lpa as well in the big data engineer so if you want to become a data engineer this is a course for you Okay. okay. If you want to become a data engineer, if you want to learn the concepts in two months, this is a course for you. I will be telling you the most uh, from the basics to the pro level, all the concepts, not only the SQL development, development as a data engineer, how you can create a data pipelines as a data engineer, how to process the big data. So all those okay. concepts I will be telling you in our classes. Okay. I'm yes, telling yes. you if you are ready to put two months, and okay. ready to put to two hours every day. After two months, you will only call me and say that, sir, I, my package is not 12 LPA, 13 LPA. Okay, so that's how even, this is not a, a, a fake news, sir. This is what my students got and they even called me two and a half months to less than three months, they got a job and, sir, your course was really helped me to achieve a good job, so that's how. So many students got good offers because data engineering has a good demand outside. And not only that, sir, where most of the courses, what happens is like they are not covering the basics first thing and they are not covering the projects. But in our course, we are covering the end-to-end -end projects. So it is really helpful for you. Okay. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me, sir. Sir, today's session uh, upload next to uh, YouTube, sir. Like, uh... Sorry? Today's session, uh, tomorrow morning uploaded, sir? Yeah, it will be uploaded. 
because just now I, five minutes back only i joined the session sir that's why okay okay it will be uploaded you will get a uh, video, video video link as well yeah oh, okay sir okay sir. what you will do is like sir most of the students here now what you can do if you want to uh, you know register for the course the one thing what you have to do is like i will paste a link here okay okay just uh, what you do is like you will up, enter your details so that uh, Uh, you will have a updated information related to the course one thing and if you want to register for the course my team will directly connect with you okay sir yeah so please register yourself whoever is whoever are here register yourself for the course so that my team will connect with you get your details so that you can whenever there maybe from tomorrow onwards we will be starting our regular class classes or maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow regular classes will be started within two days sir for sure you have to start uh, you know learning from the day after tomorrow onwards so i will also tell you how we can create an account in the gcp with a free tier only you two rupees will be debited from your account sir so what you can do is like theoretical classes plus practical right for the practical purposes you have to go to the once after the class you have to practice yourself so that is where i am going to help you to create a free tier account so that you can practice in the real account so that is whatever the practice you are doing now when you get a job those things only you are working sir again okay there can be a little complex things but for sure every day you will be working on those uh, technologies only no sir uh, someone is asking any previous it knowledge required to join this course no 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 i am telling you if you are from a non it background also this course is for you sir if you are from a non it background as well this course is for you 